Hey friends and welcome to the next episode of A Book and a Bake. I hope you're going to enjoy this uh, video and the baking that follows. So the book I'm <coughs> going to talk to you about, as you will have seen in the, the wee caption at the front, is Dating the Amish Flirt by Rachel J. Good. I gave this one 4 out of 5. Um, this is the next in her Surprised by Love series. I love this series, it's just so good. So we meet Rachel. Now Rachel is looking after her mother who is invalid. It's just, you know, so she's she's bed bound. And as well as that, she is running the house. Um, her father has passed away. Her brother was, unfortunately, he passed away in an accident as well. And so she's still trying to look after the farm. She also makes quilts and quillows for a local for the for a stall in the green valley farmers market um that is run by mrs vanderberg a lovely lady i'll tell you more about her in a while so she's got a lot on her plate and she doesn't go very much to shall we say the young people's activities um because she just doesn't have time and she used to be a bubbly outgoing girl but she's she has crept into her shell and some of the other Amish girls are, you know, they're not very nice to her and Rachel is, is nice looking so the boys kind of congregate around her but she doesn't do anything to encourage this. She doesn't want that encouragement. When she was younger she had a great friend called Josh and or Joshua and they went they did everything together you know um but and when her father passed away he was around to help her but then when her brother passed away he he kind of stopped hanging out with her for some reason and he is going out with uh, an amish girl who is one of the girls that is really not nice to rachel um and she ends up being encouraged to go to uh one of the young one young people's events and something happens and that maybe basically makes makes them makes the girls ostracize her even more but into the into the fray comes mrs vanderberg and mrs vanderberg is she she's very good at matchmaking people and she realizes that rachel and josh have feelings for each other and that really they should be they should be together um so she so shall we say sets up situations <laughs> where they you know need to to be together but she's not the only one rachel's cousin um her husband passed away and she is not well and she's had to she's having to have an operation so she sends her two young children to Rachel to look after. Um so Rachel's got like a baby plus like a two year old and the two year old immediately attaches himself to Josh. And they end up having you know, basically they end up almost like co parenting. Um which sets more tongues a wagging, shall we say? And Josh's supposed girlfriend is really not happy. Um, but is she really his girlfriend, or is she is she doing the dirty on him? So there's all of this going into the fray, and it was just so so well written. The characters were were really really good. Um, I really liked them. I have to say, I was quite surprised. Um, at how nasty these Amish girls could be. I mean, girls, girls can be nasty and bitchy at any point in time, but they really were. They were just really not nice at all. And you know, talking about talking behind her back and everything, it was just like, oh come on. You know, just <laughs> part of me thinks that you you read in Amish books, you're like, you sort of think. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be doing that. Is that not, is that not against the way you're supposed to be? You're supposed to live. Um, so that kind of irked me a bit. And the fact that they could sort of see the situation that they didn't, they were making assumptions. They didn't know the situation. 
they hadn't been gone to offer to help and I was like oh come on um so yeah so that would that kind of annoyed me a bit um but I did I liked Rachel as a character I thought she was trying to do the best she could in the situation that she found that she found herself um she didn't want to be a burden to anyone she didn't really like asking for help because she wanted to try and you know not involve other people and not in some ways maybe not have their sympathy which maybe went against her in some ways um it would have been better if she had sort of reached out and said look um i would appreciate some help uh so yeah so that's kind of that was the book i really loved it i have thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed the series so far i'm up to date with it which is great but i know that amish in april is coming up coming up soon so if you're looking for a re some really nice like amish books try and get hold of the surprise by love series by rachel j good they are so so good they are such a great book um but yeah i hope that just my little chat about this book will encourage you to maybe go and read it or start the series um so yeah that's that's it for the review part so let's go and do some baking friends and welcome to the big part of this video so in the the book one of the pies that was made was shoe fly pie now i've heard about this shoe fly pie i've seen it on like the baking championship and stuff and i've decided i'm gonna have a quote making it never hit it's like i know that you know i've never i've never seen it in the uk i have to say um so we're gonna try making some shoe fly pie i think i've said that the right way i hope i said that right way. i am not taking the mickey honestly it's the way i've heard somebody pronounce it and is that the right way to pronounce it friends please let me know um but yeah so let's go make ourselves i'm going to say it in a very british way some shoe fly pie there you go posh posh accent so i'll flip you around and i'm sure a lot of you know how to make shoe fly pie but hey ho but i'll flip you around and we'll get on with it so i have my bowl there and i have my molasses and i have my cup so the first thing i need to do is hold on um why am i showing you a bit the bit of the kettle god no that's not the kettle that's a coffee percolator first thing i need to do is to measure out one cup of my molasses okay i have my molasses my uh, baking soda my hot water in here i'm just mixing it all together it's getting really frothy is this what it's supposed to do hope so okay i've now beaten one egg and that goes in and then i combine that all again with my handy dandy whisk oh this is interesting i've never had anything go listen hang on a minute stop Oh, mum's making me stop. She's going to tell me off because I haven't got anything underneath this bowl and if it goes weak, then it's going to go all over the place. Am I right? You're dead right. See, I know these things, but do I do them? You should see the look I've just been given, friends. This is if, good grief, did I not teach her anything? She did. She taught me lots, but do, sometimes it goes in one ear and out the other. So anyway, I've, I think that's well combined. So... That's that bit of the of the process done. I've got a sneaky suspicion it's gonna to be too big for too much for my pie my pie crust, but we'll see that in a minute. Okay, I'm cheating. I'm not making my own pie dish, my pie crust. Oh too much faff. But I've got a sneaky suspicion I've got too much filling for the pie. But hey ho, we will see what happens. So, so all I do is pour it in, but there we go, pour that in. I think, gosh, I'm, I've got, I've got, about, I've got half of that left. Oh my. Okay. Could you take my own, or I could put flour in it and make it into a cake of some form. But that's that. That's all I'm doing at that. You know, I've, I've still got the crumble topping to make, but I will do that in a wee while. But that's the, that's the, that's the, the, the beginnings of it anyway. Okay, so I didn't stick with the recipe for the crumble topping. Um, the pie isn't that big, so I'm not going to use the amounts that they said. I've also, because my pie crust was sweet and I couldn't get a savoury one, oh, I've cut the sugar way down. I've only got a dessert spoon of sugar into this. 
But you don't need any more. So his mum said, don't need any more because we've got... The, the molasses is very sweet. So the Ma at the moment is making, um, is about to start making some apple sauce for we're having pork tonight for tea so this is i'm doing dessert mum and dad are doing main course so i'm just going to cut some shortening into this and then crumble it up and put it onto the top of the pie okay i made my crumble topping um and i've put it on so yes yeah, so that's it ready to go in the oven i'm not going to put it in the oven yet i will wait till later on hopefully that won't spoil it but that's the shoe fly pie i made and then with the leftovers, I tried to make sure I put some um, flour into it and tried to sort of make some like cupcakey things. Don't think they've been a success. They kind of splooshed over and everything. But hey, I tried. It's the important thing. So yeah. So now just to sort of keep my eye on a few things in the kitchen while mum and dad are having a chat with my aunt. Um, I might go through and chat with her as well, but um, I shall just, I am now, I think, in charge of dinner for a wee while, but hey -ho, there we go. Okay, friends, that's the shoe fly pie out of the oven. Um, I don't know what it's going to be like. I've got a sneaky suspicion that mum and dad will play, have custard with it, because I think it looks quite dry. Um, but we'll see what they think of it when, when, when we taste it, but it's out of the oven now, which is fine. And I will let you hear our thoughts when we taste it. Okay, Mum is doing the honours of cutting through the shoe fly pie. What does it feel like? Is it is it hard to cut? Mm -hmm. oh, hope it's hope it's cooked. Do you maybe need to take it onto a board? No, take this bit out. Okay, I need to help Mum with this, but we'll come back when it's all cut. We've got the big knife out. Sounds crispy. Okay, well, I'll we'll take, we'll take the boys through their slices and we'll get them to taste it in front of everybody and they can tell us whether they like it or not. Okay, Dad's about to taste it. I can feel just the, the treacle. Mm -hmm. The molasses. Is um, it dry? It's a bit dry, but not, not fantastically dry. Mum's trying it. What do you think? It's a wee bit dry. Okay. Am I going to like it? Mm. Okay, I'm about to try it. It's alright. I'm not raving about it. Yeah, you like, you, um, you lost all the flavour. Mm, no, it's just sweetness. Mm. All there is. I don't know what that's supposed to, what it's supposed to be like, but... Not be bad, not be making it again. I don't think, uh, it's not one that I'm, I'm planning on keeping, guys, um, to be honest. Tried it. Fine. But, no, not for us. But, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below. Do you make shoe fly pie? Do you like it? Um, did I do anything wrong? I would, I would like to know. But until my next video, stay safe, happy reading. Bye.